At Paradise Hotel, it's the beginning of the end. They're beyond playing a game. The guests have just two weeks to go before the finale. That's being shady. They're scared. That makes me feel good. Bring it on. All summer long, they battled. Who are you? Are you God? Do you think you scare me? But which couple will win the ultimate prize? We'll see. Okay, we will see. We will see. We will. Previously on Paradise Hotel. Zach! Zach came back. Looking for revenge on Dave, Sharla, Tara, and Keith for eliminating him and his friends. It's in the real world, you run your mouth like that. Let's smack it off. I'm done. Yeah, you should be done. You are done. And Zach wasn't alone. Well, we're back. All of the former guests returned. You thought you were running? That's gonna change! <laughs> Ready to use what they've seen on the show to attack their enemies. You've been hiding in a room, scheming your ass off the whole time. Charlotte and her alliance were on the brink of quitting. I'm leaving. I shouldn't even be here. I'll leave too. While Melanie's arrival left Holly jealous. I don't, I don't care. Then the secret reason for the former guest's invasion was revealed. The current guests of Paradise will be selecting two former guests to check back into the hotel. One man and one woman. But Zach wouldn't be one of them. Zach, the rules of the hotel state that threats of physical violence are unacceptable. I'll see you in Arizona with about 50 guys. Which means that you are no longer eligible to be the one guy to check back into the hotel. What I think about Zach being ineligible is that I kicked him off again. Tonight. It's so funny how things have changed. You know what, Ann and I still like you. And in charms, Charlotte and Tara, but it's all part of a secret strategy. My goal is to tear every one of them apart. Tony attacks Tara head on. I think you're a liar. Do I think you deserve to be here? No. We don't trust you. We don't like you. Zach surprises the guests. Before uh, dinner starts, I need to make speech. Which one of the female visitors will the men of paradise vote back into the hotel? It's time to reveal who you voted for. And which of the male visitors will be the ladies' choice? The final group of 11 guests are revealed and move one step closer to the ultimate prize tonight. I feel like Zach has a lot of harbored ill emotion towards Keith, and it all came out at one time. I don't hear you talking, just shut up. I don't hear you talking, Keith. I'll see you in Arizona when your brother moves there with about 50 guys. Zach's a grown man. He made a decision, he said what he said, and his punishment is leaving here. Zach, threats of physical violence are unacceptable. You are no longer eligible to check back into the hotel. I do have a lot of loyalty towards the people that I started this out with. The hammer fell on me real quick, and I never had a chance to actually connive and scheme like they started off doing. So now it's my turn. Zach, I got it. You got what? 
I know how we can make sure they don't win this thing. If Keith or Charlotte or Tara or Tara, whatever the name is, if those people win, can you imagine? Yeah, I can't imagine. It's a cutthroat business right now. I can sneak right in. I have the vote from Holly, Desiree, and Amy, so I'll tell them, yeah. you know what? Put it on Andon. Yeah. I'm telling you, I could get on here and wreck shop. I know you would. You know what I'm saying? I say we do it. Bro, one of you two need to come on the show. It's one what? of us, man. Well, he would be cutthroat for us. I've been yeah. fresh. I'm fresh. I've been you taking a break for a month. You, I said I want either of you on, no one else. You don't deserve this. No. This no, not at all. He didn't physically threaten. Well, even if he did. I'm but sorry, he didn't. Even if he, did. he didn't get up in his face and say, I'm going to kick your ass. No, it was across the state. It was in another state, and I wasn't looking at him. I will make one point clear when I leave tomorrow. I will walk up to Dave, to Tara, to Sharla, to Keith, and I will say, please do not, for me, ask for my phone number and do not be in contact with me. I don't want poison in my life, and you four to me are poison. That's what I have to say. So I'm just gonna spend time with her tonight. You guys understand that? There's no one I wanna be around. I've seen the tapes. God, I've been holding my tongue. You have an ability to walk up and be fake. You are about as fake as Dave. I think you're a liar. I do. I think you're a liar through and through. Just the way that you've conducted yourself disgusts me. Well, you're you know going to think what you think. Exactly. That's I think you're funny. a liar. And I think Charlotte was a prime opportunity for you to get into the game and play it well. Okay. And I think if it came down to the wire, I don't think you'd have Charlotte's back. I'm seriously like gonna go in my room and start packing my bags. If you leave, I'll leave too. It's not worth it to me. You can have your own I, opinion this way. And that's why I, I, I know in my heart that I would be there for her through anything. For the most part, I don't wish you any ill will. Do I like you? No. Do I think you deserve to be here? No. I mean, there's a bunch of people here that just don't like you. That's fine. That's got to say something about your personality. OK. And if you really like this in life, I really hope you change. I really hope you do. Oh, and I also liked how the fact that you said in, in uh, the episode, would I ever be friends with Tony? Not a chance. I that said that? That was great. That was wonderful. I wouldn't say something like that. Really, it's on tape, sweetie. With Tony, I could be her friend, but I wouldn't choose to. So what makes you really think that I need to actually sit here and talk to you? This is, I wanted to hear what you have to say, but you're not telling me anything. That's and great. I don't think you're okay. lying. You're lying, saying that you do all these wonderful things, and you're a model, and this, that, and the other. And lying about you know, my and, job? And like, why would I lie I about really that? I really just don't believe you. I know in my heart that I haven't said anything bad about people. I haven't lied about oh anything. Oh, my God. I'm so done. I love you. I'll see you on the couch. I'm done. I can't deal with this. <laughs> I was re really honestly just hoping that you and I could clarify a bunch of things yeah. that were on my mind while I was away that I never got to talk to you about. Yeah. And that I just wanted to know for our future and stuff, like how you felt. I you thought know. I was thinking too fast. When I left, I was like, this is way different than anything I've experienced in my life. I've never trusted someone like I do you. Most people, you get over it, you know, well, it's over, you know? I gotta go on, but you, I'm like, I would not settle with it ever being over, you know? Just being with you for two months, I feel the most stable I've ever felt in a relationship before. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I can't tell you, like, how excited I am about everything. I feel so comfortable, too. I know. I don't know where I would go with my life without you. I love you, Zach. I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> they ask me to say something, and then when I start saying something, what do they do? I get two words and cut off. So why don't you speak, Tara? Or Charla. I really don't have anything to say. Yeah, because you're I, guilty by association. You're guilty because you know what you've done. Everyone's done the same thing. Nobody here is innocent. 
they don't care what I have to say. They just have to have something to, to be upset with me about. I'll never apologize for anything I've done. You have no reason to. I know I don't. All those people get together and when they say so many lies, they believe it. Do you ever, do you know people like, like that in real life, they lie so much that they even believe themselves. No. The brain gets brainwashed. Yes. And they believe fake lies. And that's so manipulative. That's so wrong. We're just taking it week by week. You have to have that mentality, otherwise you don't have a chance. And we all trust each other and we're gonna win this. All we gotta do is stick together. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you. Coming up on Paradise Hotel. So let's talk about strategy for a second. And in Sweet Talks, Tara and Sharla, but it's all part of his devious plan. I will get underneath Tara and Sharla. I don't like them, and my goal is to tear every one of them apart. Later, two visitors will be voted back into the hotel and compete for the ultimate prize. Will Andon be one of them when Paradise Hotel continues? They all are coming to me saying, America's gonna hate you, and all these really mean things. They're a rude awakening. They are. Because they look like mean, conniving, and you don't. How can you? What have you done or said to be rude or mean? Nothing. Like, what guy do you want here? That's the only guy that I, I want a guy here. Do you want Aaron or not? I want a non-threatening guy here that is not gonna be to me. Just because I'm playing the game. Really? It's so funny how things have changed. You know what, Andy and I still like you. I want to make sure none of the new people get a chance at this big grand prize. Somebody who started this should finish it. I want to make sure that Sharla doesn't walk away with this. And I could get Sharla to trust me at all. Good job. Way to go. She should fall right into my trap. You were scared to death that you were gonna leave that first week. And now you're now you're this far. You're this far. You're you are actually one of the most powerful people in paradise, believe it or not. Sharla and the Barbies versus the originals. Just so you know, I don't hold a grudge and that night that we talked, that was the end of anything that I ever felt I hope so. negative towards you. I hope so. I couldn't apologize enough for being a are you being honest? I'm being completely honest, talking Thank here. Thanks. That's cool. I'm Just serious. I mean, if you don't believe me and you're going to turn around and say that you don't believe me, that's fine no, too, no, but... No. But, you know, it's, uh... It's a crazy place. It is? You know? Once you're gone, you'll miss this place. Mark my words. You'll miss this place. I will get underneath Tara and Sharla. I don't like them, and my goal is to tear them apart mentally. They'll never know I hit them. So let's talk about strategy for a second. Like, who are you girls thinking of voting on this thing? I'm sure Sharla and I will agree on the same person. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Amy, Desiree, and Holly, they'll strategize and come to one decision. What are you going to do? A girl, would you like to take him in? Um, it's between, it's between her. And? Honestly, Tony. The only people that I would consider coming on here would have been you, Alex. Mm -hmm. Even if I come on and I don't win it, I want to make sure certain people don't. You know? Keith? Tara? Cheryl? They're, they're definitely the first to go. Do you agree with that or no? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. As Tony might say, <laughs> game on, folks. I would like to see Melanie on. I would. She seems like a really nice woman. <laughs> I think she's mature enough to handle what's going on. There are a few people who are still left who are gonna get stepped on, who will take it real personally. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I hate to name names, but Dave's one of them. Maybe this is just a little too much for him. All I do every day 
is defend myself, and I defend my friends, and I get attacked. Don't talk to me, Dave. I really have nothing to say to you. Okay. We so don't waste your time, don't waste your words, because seriously, I could care less. They really made me doubt myself. Never. Don't ever doubt you. I'll kill you if you do that. Yesterday, I wanted to go. Now I just don't even care. I'm glad you're at the state of not caring. It's about time you're not caring. Ride this bitch out, see if we win it. If we win it, we win it. If not, we walk up the walk of shame. <laughs> Two days, I've been already by myself. Not one person's even come in here. Dave did today. I don't, I don't even want to know what's going on. Hang on. Tell me what happened. I've been in my room by myself all day. I'm hanging out with people I haven't seen in eight weeks. Do you gotta understand? If I saw your side, I'm just asking you to see mine, maybe. You know? It's a relief knowing that I can't be voted on. Oof, da. Oh, the one person, no matter what, can't have anything here to wait for. You talk about people behind their back. Apparently. That's not cool. I, I don't point people. So you know what uh, well, I do when I don't like them. So what will you do if Indian is voted on? Hmm. I'm trying to stay away from me. I don't want to feel safe here. I need to feel safe here. I'm just tired of everyone fighting all the time. That's the game. Well, I'm tired of the game. You, well, you can't be here in three weeks. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Ollie's an integral part in taking this thing to the end. And to know that somebody has your back in this game, no matter what happens, is a big part of it. Without Holly, I'd probably have no chance. I care for you, and I care for me, and I want us to win the whole thing, period. I'll say it to everybody. From here on out, I want us to win this, me and you. I'd rather have Melanie than Kristen or Tony right. any day. Kristen, I don't understand why she's so, so bitter against me. Because we voted her out. Scott's roommate will be Amy. Kristen will be leaving the hotel tonight. Well, do I feel guilty if people think that I've hurt them? Yes, I do. You haven't hurt anyone. They're playing with your head. Check these things out, man. They are a freak of nature. Why do you care so much about if they like you or not? I haven't done anything to deserve any of the treatment that I have received. And I don't care what nasty things are said about me because they're morons. I think you're fighting a lost battle. You're putting so much energy into them. You should put it into us, Dave. Put it into us. I'm not happy being around these people. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like everyone else pretends to be happy when it's not happy. I'm happy when I'm happy, and I'm mad when I'm mad. I'm pissed because Zach was disqualified. I'm staying here because he wants me to, and I have a mission now is to get rid of some people. That made it very hard for Zach to I love Desiree when it's just like me and Desiree and Holly, I'm happy. Put someone else into the equation, I wanna kill him. <laughs> If you have this animosity towards people, have you pulled them aside and talked to them? You know what, Amanda? I don't need to be analyzed right now, so... No, I'm not trying to analyze. I'm just asking. I'm curious. Trust me, I have very good reasons to feel the way that I feel about these people. I'm sorry, but some people here are just ridiculous. God forbid something horrible happens to them in their lives, and then they'll know what to cry about and what not to cry about. You can look in the mirror and be proud of yourself. I'm very proud of myself, Amy. I bet they are. I can't wait to go back and watch the show. I'm over trying to be fake with everyone that I don't like. This whole sitting around the table and trying to put a fake smile around people that you can't even stand is killing me. They're obviously more, they're so much more upset than we are. I know. Like they can't even handle it. Nope, they can't. I'm happy. 
They're so pissed off that we won't argue with them. <sighs> Sorry about the breakfast. Thank you. No, I'm just saying that I'm just trying to get people to like. Not, not even your place to, to apologize. For Mellow out that. a little bit, you know. Yeah. So that's that's all. Thanks, Melanie. Well, now that I'm back here at Paradise, I really want to stay in the game, even if that means pretending to get on Tara and Charlotte's good side. It is kind of hell what's going on, that they can make fun of you, but when you make fun, you can't. I'm cool with myself. I know who I am. Don't get me wrong, you know, I'm friends with them too, but it just does get annoying. It's just a game, kid! <laughs> I think it's really funny. I mean, we just sit here and just laugh. Like, who? Yes. Makes them look retarded. Yeah. Doesn't it? In a way, they have their points, but their points are, as the show keeps going on, look silly and silly and sillier. It's got it's, a good kisser? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, that was, because you guys had a pretty hot scene. scene. Obviously, I never kissed him. My stay here was way too short. I was really, really excited knowing that I was going to come back and be able to spend some time with Scott. Would you come back on if you get voted back on? Of course. Well, maybe say no. I thought you only packed for one night. Who are you talking to? <laughs> so good to see you. So good to see you too. Scott and I are just friends. Like, okay. I know you. Well, yeah, I know. I don't know if you knew, so I don't want you to feel like. No, that's, any... I knew that. Look at you. You're like. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that if I end up do staying, which I hope I do, um, that not to be you know worried about. And if I do, if I'm with Scott at all, forever alone or something, don't be like. <gasps> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. I talked to Holly, I was like, listen, I just want to know what's up with you and Scott because I don't want you to feel like I'm coming in and like, you guys went on your excursion, you guys made out. We get along and we, we hang out and she understands me for the most part and I understand her for the most part. And that was, in my opinion, what was so cool about you is you and I clicked immediately. Yeah, she's like, I understand you guys are friends and you haven't seen him in a while. And she likes you. No, she's cool, she's a great girl. And I... No, but she likes you. If I could be back on here, I would in a minute with you. It's not because I don't want to be here, it's because I was forced out of here. I wanted to go out looking very good. I'm going to look terrible. Really in a bad spot. Really am yeah, in a bad spot. All from one comment that I made to the wall, sitting down. Hey, shut up. All right. What are you talking about? You keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in Arizona when your brother moves there with about 50 guys. Oh, so Zach was going to physically assault Keith, so he's a raging psycho. I'm the winner. It's not Keith, it's not Charlotte. People know who the real winners are. Thank you very much. The lesson in life here, everyone, is hide out from your problems, backstab and lie to people, and you'll be a good American citizen, and you'll succeed in life. Got to keep moving forward. Get this all out of in the past. Take all the amazing things I did get out of this you yeah and look forward to like a really fun exciting future without this i would not be a male with scottish blood in me and italian blood if i didn't have full pride in myself and i do and all you need is to watch the movie braveheart and see how proud of scottish people are of themselves a tiny ass nation fighting a huge nation like england and they beat them that's that's how proud we are and i'm proud to be that and i'm not going to change who i am this is the most helpless frustrating position i've been in you know other than one that I left. I can handle it, though, I'm Zach. Next on Paradise Hotel. Don't start that right now. I just started. The visitors continue their assault. You guys are very intimidated about me. 
And... I will get underneath Tara and Sharla. I don't like them, and my goal is to tear every one of them apart. Will Andon's plan succeed? It's time to reveal who you voted for. Find out when the guests decide which visitors will be the final two to check in. So I got rid of Zach again. Hopefully Amy's following his footsteps. For now, I'm just going to chill in my room, lay low, and um, I'm going to think about this game. Hopefully us four make it to the end. I'll just tell you, Dave, you defending Charlotte is, might make you look pretty stupid the stuff because of the stuff she says I don't care about. how I look. I know. Dave, you know how many times you have come up to me and almost wanted to be in tears because you cared for that girl? Don't start that right now. I just started. OK, you just started it? Well, then I'll talk about how jealous and crazy you get about Amanda. You want to blow this up? Me? Blow it up. I'm done. Bo seems to think that I am flirting with Alex to piss Bo off. I don't ever want people to try to play me against Charlotte. She said she gets gross when you touch her. Like, that's, that's embarrassing. I don't like him touching my bare skin. Yeah, that was embarrassing, and I dealt with it. And I see your behavior is far more embarrassing than me crying. Not at all. I'm very well loved. That's why I'm back here. That's terrific. <laughs> I'll never be embarrassed to be who I am. Ooh. Neither will I about me. You should, because you have a big hat to pull out of your back. I you that you should be embarrassed. I can honestly go home and say that I never was backstabbed. Hey, Zach, you want to show me around? Yeah, man. Zach. You must now check out of paradise. Right, if I was such a bad guy, I wouldn't have someone love me, would I? I came out with someone who loved me. Can you say that? Absolutely not. Yeah, I realized that right away. When I first met Sharla, I totally had a crush on her. She obviously doesn't have those feelings for me back. I just want to clarify that you guys are most threatened by me, and you know that I would come in and probably win this thing. But what it comes down to is, from the game aspect, you guys are very intimidated about me. You don't want me to come in here because I could take away everything that you've tried to get. You're the first person I wanted to see when I got back here. Right, right. A year of friendship with me is more valuable than anything else right. here. So. After watching all the episodes and realizing that you totally backed me on everything, it meant a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you, we all want Amanda to go home of all the girls. She doesn't deserve any more chances. Yeah. She's blown you know all out of the water. She has. All I've got is my word, man. You're a sucker. You're a sucker. That's what you are. I'll have a title of sucker and a man of my word. Everybody flipped out about you crying when I left. Bo? Good Thank you. you for all your support, all the talks, all the fighting. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I yeah. think where we left it off here was really, really good. I had, I had no idea. Perfect. Like, we were that OK until I left. No, we are good. We are good. If Melanie comes back here, she's going to want to be partners with you. No, what's she that? I told her. She's assuming when she gets here, she's rooming with you, mm. which I don't want to happen. Why is that? I'm just curious. I'm, just, I'm not at all, at all. I'm, because. No, but no, I'm just curious. This it is going to be Paris to the end or whatever. Oh, the Paris thing. That's where, yeah, you were the strategizer <laughs> thinking strategy. I the was. Game. Oh, nothing else, huh? Hmm, yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah. Interesting on that at all. Jealous. Mm, I'm not jealous. I'm not a jealous person. Why are you smiling on Why are you smiling? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Everyone, before uh, dinner starts, I need to make a speech. First of all, last couple days have been stressful for everyone. I'm sorry. All the bitterness and everything ends right here with me tonight. Some of you I will stay in contact with, some of you I won't, that's fine. Uh, I came to Paradise Hotel to see what it was like to live like a rich person and, and be pampered on and be spoiled and to meet a lot of excellent people. What I walked away with was someone I love, friendships that I'll keep forever, and 
my honor and my dignity. When I first came here, I didn't like who I was, and I wanted to change for the better, and I feel that I'm on my way. This means something to me. This means something to me. And uh, this means something to me. So I care about all of you individually. Charlotte, everyone, believe it or not, you each have things about you that I care about, okay? So I wish you all the best of luck. Whoever wins, if you guys can look at yourself in the mirror and say that you're happy with who you are and how you won this, then you got my support 100%, all right? God bless me. It is now time to decide which of the women visitors. Which of the men visitors will check back into paradise. You will have a limited time to make your decision. Privately write the name of your selection on the enclosed ballot cards and cast your vote in the harem room. Results will be announced this evening. Thank you, the hotel. The current guests of Paradise would be selecting two former guests to check back into the hotel. You, gentlemen of Paradise, will select one lady visitor. And you, women of Paradise, will select one gentleman visitor. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Woo! <laughs> Visitors, I hope you enjoyed your return to paradise because for most of you, it's going to end right now. The current guests have voted and two of you visitors will be checking back into the hotel and will be competing for the ultimate prize. And I'm going to keep that prize a secret for a little bit longer. Gentlemen, you're up first. Zach, you were disqualified. You will not be checking back into the hotel. All right, the votes have been tallied and the results are in. Matt, you did not receive any votes. You will not be checking into paradise. Alex, you did not receive any votes. You will not be checking into paradise. That leaves Andon and Bo. One of you will stay and the other will have to go home. Ladies, it's time to reveal who you voted for. Amy. I have the vote from Holly. Desiree and Amy, so I'll tell them, yeah. you know what? Put it on and it. Oh. I'm not ever gonna go against one of my friends here unless they go against me, ever. Desiree. Bo. Two for Bo. Tara. I voted for Andon. I will get underneath Tara and Sharla. I don't like them, and my goal is to tear every one of them apart. Sharla. Okay, we've got two for Bo, and we've got two for Andon. Holly, the decision lies in your hands. Of course. Who do you vote for, Holly? and Bo. One of you will stay and the other will have to go home. Okay, we've got two for Bo and we've got two for Andon. Holly, the decision lies in your hands. Who do you vote for, Holly? Bo. 
That looks like a perfect heart. And unfortunately, you will be going home tonight. At this point, it'll always be a what if. And coming out of a situation like this with a what if isn't good. But Bo, checking back into the hotel. Congratulations. So go and sit with the other guests, please. Ladies, now it's your turn. Amanda, you did not receive any votes. You will not be checking into paradise. Kristen. If I were to get voted on, I know I would do anything that I could to get Dave, Charla, Tara, and Keith sent home. You did not receive any votes. You will not be checking into paradise. Tony, you will not be checking into paradise. We want Keith, Dave, Sharla, and Tara out. Period. And whoever they vote in is working for us. Which means it is now down to Kavita. Tonight is going to be an eventful night. What they say is true. In paradise, you never know what's going to happen. And Melanie. I really want to get voted back on. My stay was way too short. You both know now that one of you will be going home, the other will be checking in and competing for the ultimate prize. Gentlemen, it's now time to reveal who you voted for. Scott. Melanie. As you and I clicked immediately. Yeah. Tom. Melanie. Dave. Kavita. Kavita's been very straight up with me about how she feels. She's been very cool, and uh, I'd love to see her come. And Keith. Kavita. Okay, we have a tie. We have two for Melanie, and we have two for Kavita. So. Since the gentlemen are split on this one, ladies, it's down to you. You must make your choice right now. Amy, who do you vote for? Melanie. Desiree. Melanie. Tara. Camila. Charla. Yeah. We've got two for Melanie and two for Kavita. Holly, I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. But it's down to you. Who do you vote for? Left well, was very difficult. It was tough. We have a tie. We have two for Melanie and we have two for Kavita. Holly, it's down to you. Who do you vote for? If I'm with Scott at all, wherever alone or something, don't be like, <gasps> no, I'm not justified. <laughs> Melanie. Yeah! Kavita, unfortunately, this means you are going home tonight. And Melanie, you know what it means. You're back in the running. You can now compete for the ultimate prize. My whole thing coming into this was I was going to be honest and sincere. I really think that the only way to succeed is to be sneaky. Melanie, the girl that went home in the first week, you can now take a seat with the current guests. I owe this to her to bring her back on to the show. 
Well, there we have it. You guys are the final 11. Congratulations to all of you. You are now in the running to compete for that big, massive prize. Well done. Okay, former guests, all I can say is thank you so much for coming back to visit us. I hope you've had a good time. Well, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a chance to just say your goodbyes to the current guests, okay? Thank you, man. Good luck, man. Good luck, man. Do well. You too, man. That was good support for me, and I'm good support for him. There are less personal feelings involved this time because now we know where the other stands. We're great friends. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Do it. And take care of it. Me and Amy have a really bright, exciting future. I will be so proud if Amy goes on. I am behind her 100%. I love you, Zach. I love you too, sweetie. Later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. The visitors worked very hard to um, turn me against Charlotte, but um, Obviously, they didn't succeed. You think your little buddy, Sharla, is your friend? You should have heard the stuff she said about you in the world. They keep making fun of the Barbie club. We have to keep on looking like Barbie girls in a Barbie world. Mm-hmm. OK. But maybe if they were part of the Barbie club, they would still <laughs> be here. Sharla's like, we're just Barbie girls in a Barbie world. And they're like, <laughs> The only difference is this Barbie has a brain. I'm so happy that I found these great friends that care so much about me, they're so proud of me, they support me so much, and I know they care about me, and I know that I have a special bond with these three people. They're gonna try to ruin our friendship, they're gonna try to make our lives living hills like they've always thought they were gonna do, and I'm not gonna let them do it. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you. What else do I need? Nothing. Nothing. I feel like a winner already. It's time for the final eliminations to begin. <laughs> the 11 remaining guests battle for Paradise's ultimate prize. There are certain people I will make sure they're gone. Paradise's natives get restless. <laughs> this is Paradise. But when the drums stop, Drama explodes on the high seas. How dare you hook up with Alex and bet him off next night? That's just a heartless. Desiree targets Dave's weakness. Yeah. Dave is in love with Charlotte for sure. Yeah. Then the rivalry between Amy and Tara. Tara thinks you are jealous of her. How do you feel about this? Gets ugly and personal. I have achieved so many things already in my life than you ever will. Remember, there are just two weeks to go before the Paradise Hotel season finale, when the ultimate prize is revealed and one couple will win it all.